This is kind of how we... Much more loose. We just like to enjoy ourselves here. Um, okay, everyone. This is a little bit of an extra for all of you. Hello, those of you that were able to join us kind of mid, uh, midday here into the uh, Justin TV slash Bernieville podcast chat. Uh, I have myself. Uh, Sandy is with us as well. Hello, hello. And we have two fine gents over from the Everfree Northwesters. Uh, we've got the head himself, the lead stallion, the one in charge, the man behind it all. Hey, Bajody. Good day, everyone. How are you doing, sir? Pretty good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. 16 days. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> just just d- don't panic. It's all right. 16 days. 18, 18 oh, days. insane. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. What you should do is you just like keep saying a lower, lower amount of days. Like, <laughs> and then it's like, okay, it's three days away. 12 days. <laughs> He flips out, you know. Well, the thing is, like, there's there's something that we have to do every single day after the convention, so the countdown is really doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> Yesterday, <laughs> just constant crunch. Uh, like, oh, go why ahead. Aren't you at the the hotel now, <laughs> dude? It was last week. What's going on? <laughs> Where were you? Uh, and hey, we got Royal Coat with us. Hey, Royal. Hey, oh. And what do you do, hey, sir? I am the event organizer. I'm the guy that made the schedule and <gasps> was dying over the past couple of months. Oh man, I've done that job before. That that was that was that was my old job of just like, uh, it's time to set all these things straight. Everything's perfect. I think I've got everything completely fine. Oh, it's all wrong. Yeah, that's happened a couple of times. <laughs> well, when we got another when we got another hotel, we were kind of, it was kind of like, yep, yeah, just pitch the schedule and well, you know, start again, which isn't fun, you know, two months before the convention. Yeah. Yeah, I do, I do not envy that job. Uh, <laughs> it is it is the master of the black arts right there. It is it is the like, all right, I need to con- I need to craft a specific, perfect schedule that makes it so as few people will come at us at, with pitchforks as possible. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The uh, the other side of things is like is, you know, like right now. Um, the uh, VAs are coming to us talking about autographs, you know, uh, how to cha- the changing up their autograph schedules. And I'm like, oh, you did, you couldn't have done the, you know, you couldn't have told me this beforehand. It's, uh, it's a nightmare. But hey, I got you guys an extra spot. So, woo! Yes, you did. Uh, and just for those that uh, we did talk about it a little bit on our stream yesterday, which will be part of a. One of our normal shows. This will be an extra for uh, all those out there. Uh, but we have two shows that we have set up. Uh, we have a Bronyville podcast starting at 8 p.m. in the Washington Room at the Marriott uh, on Friday, August 17th. Uh, that's going from 8 p.m. Uh, it might even go longer, but we're seeing. Uh, we'll see how the schedule moves and progresses. We only have a two. We have slated for a two-hour slot, but we could go forever depending on how the schedule changes. Uh, yep. We will keep up for that. Um, and that's just a standard show, us recording, being silly, hopefully getting some guests in and doing some fun, uh, recording stuff and having live people there, which will be super cool. Um, and then clickety, clickety, click, uh, on Sunday, August 19th at 1230 at the same room, Marriott, um, we will have a, uh, we will be doing a one hour show so that we can have people come up and say, Hey, what did you see at Everfree Northwest? What did you enjoy? What was uh, what fun stuff did you actually encounter? So uh, we're gonna be doing a little show there at twelve thirty, uh, Washington in the Marriott. So I'd like to have you guys join us for that. Um, so let's uh, let, let's do this. Um, of course you guys are four days away from the convention, and <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> like uh, might as well be. <laughs> so. How, like uh we've we've kind of been following you guys along since the inception of this when it when it was kind of ridiculous and crazy and just like we're going to do this convention up here in in um you know up uh in Seattle and it's close to Vancouver so maybe we can get some people here and you guys have grown what like do you have your current reg numbers like right on hand I'm curious like you guys have like we we were hearing at a point where you guys were like we hope we get 300 people. Yeah. Oh, those are the days. It's that definitely the- over a thousand now. Yeah. When we, those were the days when we ended up, when we were like, we hope we get 300 because then we'll be, then we'll have, you know, be able to break even. And then now we have lots and 
And things have changed. <laughs> things have changed a bit, yes. That is... But yeah, the pony conventions, they really... There is a desire, and, you know, if you can say, all right, we're doing this here, give people enough notice, you're going to get tons and tons of people. And oh, hey, yeah. Seattle's a lot cheaper than some other areas of the country to travel to. Yeah, I'm I'm excited to go to Seattle. We're we're only going to be co- going in and coming out for just a little while, but on that Thursday that we're coming in, I'm like, oh, what all can we see in a really short time? Early flight. Let's figure this out. You know, it's, I'm I'm kind of excited to to head up to Seattle. I hope the weather is well. I, I you guys are notorious for your your uh, your liquidy weather. Well, yeah, we we get a bit of moisture up here, but uh, luckily August month is, is one of our prime prime summer months for you guys. Woo! So you look yeah, at you the, all planning. It's generally the 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 warm month. All right, but, so, uh, yeah. As one as someone that I as someone I know says, if you don't like the weather in Washington, wait five minutes. So <laughs> uh, it sounds like the weather in Florida. <laughs> It's kind of the same thing. If it's too sunny for you, we'll send in a thunderstorm in a moment. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, all right. It's kind of the same thing in Virginia, but So, let's uh let's see the uh so we got a little bit of wrap up. So, is there anything you guys want to of course uh we, you still have the convention for those that are listening live at this point uh and it, correct me if I am horrifically wrong. Uh you do have registration still open at this time? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Cool. Okay. More badges have been added. They have not been sold out. Pre-reg is 35. Uh, at the door is 40. Subject to availability. AKA. Yeah, and I'm just going to say right now, we're, we're definitely going to be selling out before the door. So, pre-reg. So, probably not, we're really not going to have anything at the door. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, please make sure you pre-reg. And trust me, you save five bucks, and, well, you wouldn't be able to get in otherwise. So, there you go. <laughs> You saved uh, yep. an entire convention. Yep. Uh, let's see. Standard adult sponsor. And oh, you guys got sponsors. Let's see. So for a larger amount, t- uh, tell you what, somebody uh, sell me on the sponsor real quick because those are nice. Uh, or are they well, still sponsor up? memberships are, are sold. Sold out. Oh, sold out. Uh, okay, never mind. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing left is is the the regular the general, attendee spot. Is general attendance. That's really the only thing that we've got left because okay. we. I mean, we sold out twice before, so. It kind of, it's kind of become a little bit more difficult. But if you want to get in, you still can. Okay. And let's see. We've got the. Let's see. I'm going through the list here. We got dealers. Do we have a full list of dealers that are uh, going to be uh, going into the convention? Is that listed anywhere? Hmm. No, but uh, the Jody, we could. We probably could. You know, see if the dealers would like that. I, I'm sure they would. If oh, I was assuming it was going to be on the site, but we just got it uh, solidified a couple days ago. Okay. Yeah, a lot of the because of because of the nature of me, you know, getting another venue, um, we were able to upgrade our number of dealers. So it's kind of been starting point. It's been two months ago. So mm-hmm. for just about everything. Okay. That totally works. I just wanted to check on that con book volunteer. So I assume you are definitely still taking volunteers at this time. Oh yes, yeah. yes. Our, vol- our volunteer sheet is on on our website. Is it? Uh, well, just evergreennorthwest dot or nw dot com slash volunteers. I believe so. And then that's you know that'll go to us and. Yeah, it's linked yeah. off our front page, and we're definitely looking for more people to help out over the weekend. And yeah, definitely, because um, you know, and as people who do conventions, they need volunteers all day, every day. Oh yeah. And uh, I'm I'm looking at the information from the head of staff right now, uh, Galileo. It looks like uh, benefits are your badge will be compensated for next year. So if you are in planning on getting going in and actually wanting to want to make a free one for next year, you get that compensated. You get a staff T-shirt and free food and drinks. Delicious. Um, and there's just general staffing, security, anything. Uh, trust us, if you, if you want to get in good graces with a convention, go go uh, go volunteer for a little bit. It, you are a godsend. You are you are a uh, you are a god among mortals for doing that at a at a con. And really, we're planning for it to be an absolute blast. We just had our last staff meeting yesterday, and a uh, big barbecue afterwards, and everyone is just so so big group of friends. I don't even know. It's amazing. Yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a great time. I'm looking for, I'm I'm looking forward to it. 
Looking forward to seeing Sandy again. Oh, it's been so long. We'll be in the same room again. We can touch. Oh, <laughs> so exciting. The number of people. Uh, you know, that's one thing about the staff. The staff we already have is incredible. It just, they, they're just the biggest family in the world. I, I want to, you know, I can't express it enough. I really can't express how, how awesome they all are. Oh yeah, I, I'm just noticing, uh, sweetie. Were you doing Wiggly Sabrina on the stream? <laughs> uh, I I was noticing the weird game that she was playing. I'm sorry. I was. I think that's the new Pony Quap. Yeah, it's the mo Pony Quap. You have to control all the limbs. <laughs> oh, Starry, you do such silly things on our stream. I know. And then you you reported yourself trying to walk across the stream, or the screen. <laughs> Oh, well. Um, all right, so let's see. You've got that coming up. Uh, is there any particular fun things? I mean, Royal, I know that uh, that uh, con schedules are going to be all over the place, and they can change with the wind and sometimes even at the convention. Um, what are... you want to go ahead and lay down some of the big events that are going to be coming up? Yeah, um, so actually at this point, it's mostly solidified. I, I, I am going to attack someone with an axe if they attempt to try to start changing anything else. But I want to change. I want to add four more things. Well, you can't. That's Aww. happened. <laughs> anyway, no. Uh, yeah, the we've got a lot of we've got a lot of really great stuff. Uh, I, I'm I'm really astonished by the uh, the num the amount of outreach we've had from the community itself to do to just put on panels. Uh, you know. Uh, really, I found this out after I started really working, you know, after like a, maybe a month, maybe a month and a half ago, that most of the time conventions kind of conceive all of their events and then find people to fill them. Um, but in our case, probably about half of the half of the events are people that uh, that basically emailed in and wanted to do something. We've got some, you know, and that's I think that really adds to our, the community aspect of all of this. I'm so I'm so pleased with it. Uh, but for us, for our thing, for our major panels, we have, of course, uh, the, the main six, Tabitha, Tara, and Andrea, minus two, main six minus two is what it's called. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, I know I'm not very clever. Oh, no, no, uh, no, that's fine. Uh, the, the Crusaders, of course, Cutie Mark, the three Cutie Marks, Cutie Mark Crusaders, which is going to be an interesting time, I think. I, I know Michelle personally, and... There uh, and a few and uh, I've and uh, I've met. Um, did I meet? I think I met. We met Madeline, didn't we, uh, Bajati? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, they're and they're they're great kids. So that that'll be awesome. And I'm hoping. Uh, I think the uh, I think the most chaotic panel is probably going to be the the guys of MLP, which is going to be um, uh, Lee Tokar, uh, Andrew Francis, uh, Peter New. And uh, Kathy Westlock. Um, <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Royal, Kathy one of is these, not a guy. One of these things is she, not like who, the other. But who does she play? <laughs> mayor Mayor. Like, oh, wait. Like. <laughs> so she's half a dude of MLP. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, that, that's actually on the, that's actually on the schedule. It's, uh, anyway, it's, I, I, you know, if people don't get it, then they don't get it. I don't really care very much. Uh, <laughs> oh, it'll be great. <laughs> but, uh. Those are going to be awesome. You know, those things are going to be awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited actually to see the, uh, the, the, the one of the last ones is uh, what, what I would call, what I'm calling finding your voice, which is going to be the, all of the voice actors talking about being a voice actor and how they, you know, and how to be one, which should be, I think is going to be really, really cool to have that many opinions or the opinions of the, you know, all of pretty much all of them uh, in one spot. So we'll see. Is that the one that's actually going to be led by Kathy? Uh, yes, I believe so. Because she has the she has a, a professional experience in voice coaching. So, yeah, I'm really excited to see that one pull through. Um, especially, well, hmm? that's definitely right up the community's alley. There's so many people that are like, "Oh my god, I want to voice a pony." <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I suppose um, the one of the uh, as far and that's you know the, so that's kind of a that's kind of a, a like a, a quick highlight of our. The, uh, of our events, with the, particularly with the VAs, and of course, uh, Pony Stock and the uh, Pony Stock itself, which is going to be three days of pure music. The musicians are awesome; they've organized themselves. 
it's uh, going to be a blast. Except that Fuzogs has decided to be at 1.30 in the morning, and that means I'm going to have to stay up the entire <laughs> in, in uh, all of Friday night. But uh, sleep. sleep, who needs it? I'm not going to get it anyway, so might as well give away my room. Uh, yeah, that's about, I think, two dozen performances at this time, maybe a total of 30 performers. I could look that up, right? Well, wait, I don't have my, never mind, I don't have my, uh, my browser open. Uh, uh, yeah, I think so. But, uh, the, um, and the dances, the lunar and, uh, solar, the lunar and celestial celebrations, as I put them, but they're, uh, the dances are going to be four hour affairs that is going to be, that are, you know, led by DJs and just a lot, a lot, a lot of bub. It's probably <laughs> so, so much dubstep. Uh, <laughs> and just, you know, pony beats. You know, I, I think everybody loves a good dance. Yep. As Pinky would say, get on your jam, get your jam on. And I'm looking, we've got a, a premiere for Double Rain Boom. Yeah, um, they contacted me, contacted me just a little while ago, actually. They're, I don't know if it's, I think it might be their, uh, at least the first half of the episode. I'm not sure if they have the full one, but uh, they wanted to premiere it here. So it's going to be, so that's going to be really cool. Uh I, I personally can't wait because I think it's an incredible project. So, uh, which is if anybody's not if anybody's not aware of Double Rain Boom, since this kind of hasn't gotten a lot of press, it's a uh, a fan episode that started as a uh, a college project, I believe, and kind of spawned into a full fledged animated uh, animation uh, animated episode that has now has Hasbro's backing, so or approval at least. So that's. Wow. They have a, they that's, have a thumbs up from Hasbro of just like yeah you can do that. Yep, that's true. That's basically it. Show us your moves. Yep. Yeah, and um, on that sort of note as well, we've have um, oh who else we have there's a actually someone who just approached me a little while ago. There's a full radio play that was produced by um oh who did they that. I don't remember the exact. I don't exactly remember the uh, the the title, the, their 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 uh, their com- community name, but it's uh, called Pony Swap. It's a a full fledged radio play that uh, about um, I think the kind of the more the most uh, the most obvious of accidents that Twilight generally gets into, which is you know swapping all of the all of the main characters around into different uh, into different species. So you know. That sounds cool. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually pretty excited. They're going to get me a script, and you know, just to make sure everything's on the up and up. And uh, I'm. I'm really excited to see that. Uh, what else? Oh. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm. I'm looking at some, and I'm trying to track. So there's a, a comedy with Jonathan Agnew, British uh, brony comedian, uh, is doing some stuff. There's a how to be an animator panel. Um, that one's going to be that one. I'm. Still waiting on uh, our, you know, still waiting on some people from, or some still waiting on some people to actually update that description because it's really probably going to be more about storyboarding, okay, and how to do like you know, because really on in My Little Pony, the uh, the storyboarders are the ones that bring things to life. Uh, you know, you have the writers who write the episodes, but sometimes they only have a a very very small snippet to go off of, like. Uh, I particularly think I think of one instance where I was told that the writing said Fluttershy looks sad, and uh, I think if I remember correctly, that ended up being in Hurricane Fluttershy the uh, the scene where all the eyes are on her, and that was just a or on her, and that just uh, that's just entirely the storyboarders going in and interpreting it, and I'm you know so uh, it should prove to be a pretty interesting panel, I I, I must say. <laughs> Make her sad. Make her mortified. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's quite a difference there. Um, okay, well, that sounds good. Is there anything else we want to pimp? Of course, you guys can uh, are more than welcome to go ahead and, and send across the website. As said, regs are open. Uh, you do have the forums that are out there and making sure you register for hotels, uh, all the needfuls. Yes, um, if, you, if, uh, if you are planning on attending... Uh, register at the register at the Marriott for uh, you know for hotels because the Holiday Inn is now uh, pretty much completely booked. Uh, so that's uh, something that everybody should know. We 
uh, it went also, it, you know, it would help us mm. to, for people to register at the Marriott. Yep. And it's cheap. It's a little bit cheaper. And, um, yeah, it's, and it's just, I'm, I'm being told it's just right across the street or right next yeah, to it. Yeah. It's a yeah, parking it, lot away. It's really like, it's less than a five minute walk. It's not very, it's not very long at all. Uh, so, you know, it's not, it's, it's not like it's gonna, you know, it's gonna kill you. Okay. Um, the only, actually, the only other thing I want to, I did want to bring, I, I did want to bring up is that there's a, is a really excellent, uh, uh, the uh, Silver Quill, who is one of, who's my writing, who's the lead on my writing track. And the writing track is going to be excellent. It's, uh, I believe, eight, uh, eight sessions over the three days uh, talking about how to be, you know, basically going from the very beginning uh, in writing. So, uh, uh, writing foundations setting was the first one on uh, Friday, and kind of going straight through to uh, characters and literary tropes and that sort of thing. It's going to be a great thing for uh, writers, fan fiction, even probably even. I, I'm given what I know about Silver Quill, probably even just stepping into you know just je- writing in general. So it's going to be. I think that's going to be inc- pretty incredible. Yeah, I'm also really interested to see this mass printing fanfics uh, panel. Talking about how they got a lot of Questia books handled and uh, how that could apply to other stuff. Because uh, my friend Inky Spots kind of owns a publishing company. And he would love to get into that if he could yeah. handle the legal hurdles. No, um, uh, one of my actually a good friend of mine, Aileen, uh, is the person is one of the people that's on that that was responsible for that, and uh, she's going to be running that panel. I'm actually really interested in it myself because it seems like it's going to be, uh, you know, it, it, it lends itself to that. It lends itself to that self-publishing, you know, is there, you know, what's the best way to go about it? What's not? And that sort of thing. So it's going to be, that'll be actually quite cool. All right. Well, that sounds totally cool. Uh, go ahead and pimp the website one more time for the, for the ever forgetfuls. <laughs> yep. Uh, Ever free Bajodi? window? Yeah, or Bajod, you there? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, oh, I stuck myself with some more con work. Ah, uh, yes, the website. That would be everfreenw.com. All right, and just Which, go ahead and go there, and Bregg's still open for the short time being. Um, yep. And we will be there, for certain, doing shows, and we'll be chatting around. We got some Bronyville merch. Uh, we still got some of the buttons that we've done before. Starry wants you to buy her <laughs> things. Uh, and she has many of them that she's uh, generating right now. And uh, I've talked about them before, but we're going to ha- we're going to be infesting Everfree with para sprites. Just so you know, prepare for them. They're going to be everywhere. So that's going to be fun. Oh, you, you'll you'll love them. I guarantee you're going to want one. L- these nice little para sprite balls we're making. So they're about it. yep. That was that was totally your idea, I guess. So um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Yeah. My children. Uh, my children. Creepy. All right. That's so disturbing. Yeah. Creepy. I'll go ahead and uh, move this on. Thank you very much, Bajodi, and thank you very much, Royal, for jumping in on this uh, little mini, uh, little mini thing to go over ever free. Good luck on the show as uh, and with everything going on with the convention. We we are more than aware of what you guys are uh, do, going through right now, just getting ready. So. Well, well, thank, thank you, you guys so much. much for having us on. Now, we'll we'll, yeah. we'll we're look forward yeah, to the convention in two days. So <laughs> it's uh you know you know we'll be you know well you can be here and you know if you want to show up at the hotels that'll be great but uh, we're not going to be so have fun. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we will see you, uh, you. We will see you at the beginning, and you will still have most of your hair by the end. So oh, I will. <laughs> uh, I thrive on pressure. So there you go. It's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be an interesting time. All right. Sounds good. Thank you very much, uh, you too. Thank you very much, Sandy, for this little extra. Um, we will be maybe a little bit later today doing some uh, some table toppage, so keep a uh, keep tuned into Twitter. Uh, we will announce when we're doing that, and uh, we might we might stream that. It's just uh, myself, uh, Ray Chu, who is here in the room right now. Hey, Ray. Yeah, she replied. Uh, and um, our uh, our friend Mag. So. Pretty much two out of the girls from the girls show we record, recorded a while back. Uh, we've been doing a little tabletop, and so we've uh, we need to uh, do it more, and we can provide even more silly pony tabletop to you. So, uh, hey, 
You should. You guys should come. I'm going to be running a game during the convention. Oh, so what you guys kind? Should, uh, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to set up. I'm trying to set up a time that'll work for people. Cool. So, are you doing the D and D, or are you doing the Savage Worlds? Like which one? Uh, I'm doing my own homebrew. Oh, so. homebrewed. Mm. I love a good homebrew. So you guys should. You guys should play. I. Uh, you know. I would. Re- I would really enjoy it. You know, uh, depending on how long it is, I, I wouldn't be against either me or Sandy uh, trying to jump in on that. We could uh, we could get the cameras in and record and, and get some of that silly going uh, for a little bit of the wrap-up stuff. So if we can jump in and uh, maybe get a little bit done of it, then I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't be against it. Okay. Well, right. I just wanted to bring it up. Cool. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. Thanks, you too. Thank you, Sandy. And this has been just a little extra for you guys talking about EF. W R so uh, wait E F N W so, so, uh, letters numbers is uh, yeah every nor two days two days until the convention so eight oh or, or I guess eighteen all right so thank you very much you two and uh, we will uh, see you all very soon in Seattle looking forward to it all right bye guys bye see you adios.